What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. I know I'm uh, laying down. This is maybe a weird little setup here, but honestly, I'm really comfortable, and I just thought that it'd be a great way to film just, you know, you and I here chatting. Hopefully you had a really good new year, by the way. Happy 2021. I can't believe it's a new year. Hope you're doing well out there. And I just hope that you are enjoying your year so far. I wanted to talk to you. No one's asking for this, but something inside me just kind of, I felt compelled to make this video. And I wish someone would have told me some of this when I was in my 20s. I just turned 30 not that long ago, so I am in my, some of you might know I'm already in my dirty 30. I still feel super young. I am young. I'm really young, actually. Needless to say, I have learned so much throughout my life, and I'm still learning as I go. I'm still, you know, learning life, so I'm not, like, coming from a place of I know it all. This is just, like I said, brotherly advice, things I wish I knew in my 20s, all right? So listen up if you are in your 20s or not. You don't have to be in your 20s, but maybe this can resonate with you and you can, I don't know, have a different perspective on things. Number one, you can't please. Oh, and I haven't shaved, by the way. I know, i just too lazy to shave. You can't please everybody. That's something I wish I would have known in my 20s. I am a recovering people pleaser. I used to care so much about what people thought of me. I wanted everybody around me to be happy, to be content. And that's just part of my nature. So I just naturally wanted to please everybody. And that's impossible. You cannot please everybody. So much to the point where I used to uh, hate saying no. And I quickly learned in my 20s that that is just impossible. It is impossible. Everyone, that's my phone. Everyone has is gonna have an opinion on you no matter what, whether it's good or bad. It is your life. This is your life to live. You only live this life once. You are the driver to your vehicle, I guess you should, you should say. I'm thinking of a metaphor. You are the protagonist of your life. And everyone's going to have an opinion regardless, whether it's a good opinion or a bad opinion. So you might as well do whatever the fuck you want with your life because it is your life. Like I said, opinions don't really matter. Just do you live your life as long as you get to go to bed at night and really feel okay with yourself and know that you're a good person at heart and you have good intentions and your intentions are good then that's really all that matters in life because at the end of the day you live in your mind and you are in your body all of your life so you might you might as well just make it a good place to live and you might as well just do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anybody because that's your life you know, let me add on to that by saying that if you are someone that likes to please everybody, um, like I said, it's not like a bad thing to have. You know, I know you're coming from a good place, but if you're constantly giving, giving and giving, you're going to end up feeling drained. And I feel like the more you give to everybody, the more drained you'll be and the more, the less you'll have to give. So think about it like that. We have few fucks to give in life, right? Think of your fucks as, as gold. You can't just be giving your fucks out to everything and every opinion and every little thing that doesn't really matter because you have to choose what fucks to give and you have to choose to give a fuck when it's something maybe really important that that is important. Do you know? Hope that makes sense. So stop caring so much. Number two, material things don't bring you happiness. Material things aren't bad. I'm not saying don't buy things, don't treat yourself, don't splurge. I'm not like, I splurge myself sometimes, okay? But what I have learned in my late 20s especially is material things don't really bring value or happiness in your life. And I like it, like I like style. I mean, duh, it's no surprise considering my channel. Like I, I love that stuff and it's become my job. And I guess what I'm trying to articulate is that material things at the end of the day don't really bring you happiness in life. I've been in my earlier 20s, like I've, I've been in the position of having zero, negative zero balance where I was, I had no money. And I have also been in a point in my life, and not, not saying this in an arrogant way, but I've been in a point in my life where I've made a lot of money. And I can truthfully tell you that the happiness did not change whether I had more money or not. Sure, uh, we all know this, like money buys you things. And experiences can help you out in life. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, 
I've I'm just as happy as when I had negative zero balance. So instead of just spending your money with things that are just gonna sit in your closet, invest that money in experiences, in a future business, into savings. I know it's annoying hearing you know, about savings. I was there once when my parents would be like, you know, you should save your money. And I'm like, oh my God, like, ugh, I hate talking about money. But it's important, right? So just, yeah, experiences um, bring you, I feel like more, um, memories and things that can just last longer than items that are just going to sit in your closet. So yeah. Number three, I was actually talking to a friend about this the other day. Don't dim your light for someone else. And I'm going to say this actually twice to so pay attention. Don't allow someone else's insecurities to stop you from your greatness. Now I'll elaborate on that. Sometimes and speaking from experience, I used to play down my success and other work related stuff that I would tone down, not tone down, but I would play it down and just kind of like say, oh, it's, it's no biggie, you know, like, but I know that there's people that do stop themselves from their greatness because of someone else. And that, that's not, that's not, it's not good. If someone has a problem with you reaching success or you shining bright and achieving great things, that's not your problem. That is their insecurity. That is their issue. So if someone has a problem, like I said, saying, oh, you've, you've changed or, you know, this is in friendships as well. Friendships don't have to stick with you throughout your life. If you are moving forward and achieving things and you have a plan with your life, you have goals and some people don't believe in them or they're like just making you feel not great because you're trying to achieve and you're trying to live your best life. Fuck them. I'm so sorry, but like, excuse my language, but let them go, cut them loose. You don't need that type of energy in your life. You don't need to do that. Real friends are the ones that are going to support you and, and be there for you and believe in you. And same goes both ways. All right, number four, pain is temporary. This is something that I learned as of recently. I mean, I've always heard this, but I have been betrayed in the past and it was the worst feeling. I was destroyed basically emotionally and it was just a really hard time. And I, I mean, I knew like deep down inside that I was strong enough and I was gonna overcome it. But at first I was honestly like, this sounds dramatic, but it's, it's the truth. Like I was, I was broken. I mean, I was heartbroken. Needless to say that pain, I thought it was gonna be there forever. And uh, it's not, you know, we've all dealt with pain, but just know that you are stronger than you think and that pain is only temporary. You are gonna come out of this and you will be looking back later on and think, wow, that was true. And I'm telling you guys from experience, know that pain is temporary. And uh, let's see, number five, I wanna say about taking things personally. Don't take things personally. This is something that as adults, you know, it's um, like I said, I'm still a human, so I'm not perfect. I talk about it a lot, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. He has a section in the book that talks about not taking things personally. And that is something that, and that is something that really helped a lot. And I just wish I knew sooner. Sometimes we take things personally. For example, if someone maybe, I don't know, doesn't invite you somewhere, or I'm trying to think of an example, but I can't think. Or let's say a job doesn't hire you. Sometimes as humans, like we take those things so personally, think it's think we think it's something about us and take it to heart and think, what it's it's me. You know, they're like rejecting me. When in reality, it probably isn't even about you. you no, know, you don't meet the requirements or they have someone else, but it's not about you personally. I hope that I'm um, explaining that good, but this personal one second. One second. Sorry, I had to pause. All right, I'm back. So, um, taking things personally, that's what I was talking about. So yeah, that has helped me a lot in my late 20s is to not take as many things as personally as I used to, right? Even with like comments, you can, and I'm not gonna say that sometimes comments don't hurt. I get more positive comments than negative, but I'm human. There are days where a comment might get to me for a little bit, but once again, I have to remember that it's not my thing, that's them. Like that's someone else projecting their insecurities onto me. Like I don't have to absorb and take that in and take it personally because I know me inside and that's, they don't know me. Like those haters, those internet trolls, I can't take that shit personally because 
They have no idea who I am or no, they don't know me at all. And if I took every one of those comments personally, I probably wouldn't be doing this anymore. So yes. All right, I wrote some notes because I didn't want to forget some important keynotes. All right, the next one I have is uh, be present. Don't feel like you have to have everything figured out. A lot of us don't know what we're doing in life. I mean, we have a, a plan, an idea, but especially in your 20s, those are the years where you you can fuck up. Like Those are the years where you're figuring stuff out. Those are the years that you should try different things, see what you like, see what you don't like. It's okay to change career paths. It's okay to to change your major. It's okay to like, yeah, just it's okay to, to not have it all figured out. Society has it engraved in our heads that we should have a successful career in our mid twenties. It's unfortunate because I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on adults and it makes us sometimes feel inadequate because, you know, that's another that's another story. I was going to talk about comparison, but yeah, I feel like society has that engraved in our heads that you need to just know what you want right after high school. And truth of the matter is, a lot of us don't. Like we're literally changing a lot those years. You're so young. I'm so young. We're we're so young. Even in the 40s is really young. Someone in my in uh, their 40s told me recently, like, oh my god, like. Even to me, like, because th- I was uh, falling into that trap recently where I thought, oh my God, man, I'm approaching 30. Like, holy shit. It, it, in my past, I already, th- I had thought that in my, th- like, when I turned 30, I'd be settled down with, like, a family and, and stuff like that. And I'm here and that's not there yet. But um, yeah, someone in their 40s was like, life for me started in my mid, mid- in my mid 30s. Like, you're so young, chill out. You have so much ahead of you, and it's true, you know? Sometimes people, in terms of success, which success is subjective, everyone has different ideas of what success is, but if you're uh, talking about success career-wise, look at it this way, like, didn't, I think Oprah got her start at, like, 40, right? So, yeah, be easy on yourself, be kind to yourself, especially right now, I mean, we're in a pandemic, right? So, it's okay not to have things figured out. All right, another thing that I wish I knew in my 20s was to trust your intuition. Trust your gut. A healthy gut is a good gut. But no, honestly, your gut is your compass. That intuition, that inner voice knows you best. Listen to that more often. But even in like friendships or situations, if something feels off or the energy feels off or something just doesn't feel right, pay attention listen to it. Now, while I'm on that topic of red flags, this kind of segues into another point. Stop trying to focus all of your energy in finding the right person and settling down. Now, I'm speaking from someone that was in a relationship basically all of my 20s. Yep. Now, I don't regret that because it's taught me so many valuable lessons, but stop trying to find yourself with someone else. Focus on you. Focus on what you like. You know, your 20s, as I said, are where you are discovering yourself, date around, but don't spend your time just like trying to find that person. Because also, to be honest, when you're putting that energy out there, that energy of like, you feel like you need someone, that I feel like is doing the opposite of attracting someone special in your life. For example, like with my relationships, they ended up just kind of happening. Single people out there in their 20s, like I said, keep doing you, keep living life, and the right person will come to you when it's supposed to trust. By the way, it's getting a little dark outside, so ignore that. Last but not least, you are the only you out there. Comparison is the thief of joy. I talked about this on my podcast. I actually really like that episode, so if you guys want to listen to that, it's we dive more into this, but don't compare yourself to other people. I know it's 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 it just happens, right? As humans, we sometimes fall into that trap of comparison, especially nowadays with social media. We have that in our back pocket, so it's super easy to like compare yourself especially with what you see online but as someone that's behind the camera and actually knows what goes on behind all of that sometimes it is all smoke and mirrors just being really honest with you and i know people in the industry i guess you can say um like i know big uh youtubers and stuff and influencers and i know that they're humans as well like they go through shit 
and their life isn't always perfect. Don't judge your journey based on someone else's because everyone's path is different in life. Just know that someone's middle is probably your beginning. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's say you are, I don't know, embarking on a fitness journey and someone is so much stronger than you. Well, they've been doing that probably for years. So like their end or their middle is your beginning. So don't, don't stop yourself because someone else is ahead of you. Like there is really no such thing as a head or behind. Um, just focus on you, stay in your lane. We all have different strengths. We all have our unique qualities about ourselves. For example, not to make it about myself again, but like with YouTube, I started this knowing that there was already a similar channel like me, but I knew that there was no one else out there like me with my story, with my personality. So I still did it anyway. And thank God, I mean, it, it, it ended up working, right? Because I didn't allow that to stop me. You have that secret sauce. You have those unique qualities there's no other you out there it's kind of like uh, i'm sure you've heard this before when people say like there's always going to be someone smarter than you there's always going to be someone uh, better looking than you there's always going to be someone stronger than you but there isn't going to be anyone else out there like you and i get this question actually before um quite often i get asked like how do you know yourself and that, i feel like that comes with experience and that's like the journey of life. Like I'm still getting to know myself, um, but I do know myself way more than I did even a year or two ago. And I feel like by getting to know yourself is um, literally just experiencing and living life and knowing what you don't like. I feel like by, by like I said, trial and error and, and knowing what you don't like, I feel like you get closer to what you do like. Does that make sense? That's it. I feel like... Uh, Hopefully I don't didn't forget anything. Sometimes it happens where I am editing and I'm like, shit, I forgot to say something else or like another idea or another important key point that I forgot to mention. So I'm like hoping that I didn't forget anything important. But if you want to add to this conversation, please do so in the comments below. Let's chat down below. And as I said, once again, like I'm not coming from a place of knowing it all. I'm still learning as I go and you know, we all are. So that is basically it. I'm gonna go, I need to eat, I made some coffee. That is it. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Be safe. And lastly, no matter what in this life, know that you are enough. You have everything that it takes to do whatever you want in this world, as long as you set your mind to it and you believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. So you have to know in your heart of hearts that like you can achieve whatever it is you want in your life, as long as you have the patience, the dedication, do your research on how to get to where you want to get, patience, kindness to people, hard work, determination, and trust me, you can achieve whatever it is you want in life. Okay? Adios.